tie stick and game bag, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling okay, I guess. Um, it's still going to take me a few more weeks to get back to full strength. It might even take longer, but um, you know, I've just got to keep persisting and uh, keep my patience and then you know, keep chipping away at it and hopefully I come good um, come the end of the season. Tell us a bit about the injury, how it occurred and what some of the setbacks were. Uh, it was during our World, uh, Olympic qualifiers, so um, it was in the second last game and I pretty much just planted my foot um, and, and took a shot and it just twisted the opposite way as my body and, and my ligament went straight yeah, straight away. So um, not a good injury to have. Um, they reckon that a broken leg is probably, you're better off um, because of, you know, it's such the long recovery time. But, um, you know, it's, it set me back a bit, but um, I've got the determination to get back um, to where I was six months ago um, and hopefully I can get back um, sooner than expected and, and be playing good football. And this game, really tough, really tight tussle. Yeah, it was. You know, it was 50-50 the whole game. Um, Canberra put up a great battle and now girls fought till the end. Um, it was just one of those games where it was, you know, that one chance that was going to was gonna matter. But, um, you know, not to worry, a draw's OK, I guess. We just have to um, pan out some of the other results and, and see what comes from them. You must be feeling like you're nicely positioned going into the last third of the season. Yeah, we are. Um, we've, we've played some good football the last few weeks and hopefully we can just uh, keep that going um, towards uh, you know, towards the end of the season into the finals. But um, you know, we've just got to keep playing good football, keep playing as a team, um, scoring the goals. Uh, we scored a fair few goals last week and it was a pity that we could follow it up with a win this week. But um, you, know, you have days like that. So um, we're just going to you know, go back to the drawing board during the week, uh, work on our weaknesses and, and our strengths also and hopefully we can come back you know, in a few weeks with some really good football. Now last week um, an unbelievable result and I had a little bit of a story that you got a goal but you might have been trying to poach some other goals in there as well. <laughs> I think it did seem like that from the sideline I, I promise I wasn't but um, you know I, I was determined to get a goal on my, on my return and um, I got one but you know unfortunately I could have had another two and I'm sure the three girls behind me when I took the headers off them were thinking the same thing but um, not to worry uh, we've got 11 in the back of the net so we can't really be complaining. You've played all the top teams now including your, well, not including yourself <laughs> you've played all the top teams now um, do you ever feel for who might be taking out the stubby leg team? Um, I think um, hands down um, Canberra would, would probably be the strongest team at the moment um, football is a funny game though and, and things can change um, you know we went into the season and thinking that Brisbane would be you know the other top team up there um, alongside with, with us but um, I think Canberra are definitely strong at the moment um, as well as you know the few teams that are just behind them and just behind us so um, it's a tight competition and as the W League years go by the competition's just getting higher and higher so um, that's great for women's football and great for the country and um, hopefully you'll see us uh, in the finals again this year. Congratulations. Thank you.